Right guys, um, I saved the game as a replay, so you can't see in the replay, and I'm sorry if there's any issues with this, such as that like weird blue line in the middle of the screen. Just try to ignore it. Anyway, uh, this was my first game as Bayer. Uh, really, I just spent a majority of the game trying to get just used to buy left and that was the first time you should bow almost not is about straight out but do you see what i mean by like the bow's kind of broken because if someone's out out you know and they need to recover or walk back into the stage and they get, they get like pushed out into the death barrier it's kind of hard especially when buy left has the bow because buy left can just use the bow and you're gonna have to just like jump over it or something but if you're recovering you can't really afford to uh do much dodging because that might mess up your recovery if if that makes sense so the violet bow is kind of broken you could probably keep people away from getting to the ledge of it as well and also yeah here's the first time we used the final smash pretty good final smash as in functionality and actually the, the cutscene that it plays. Now I'm honestly hoping right now uh, that this doesn't look too bad for you guys. If it's if, if it's really bad, then I do apologise for that. And hopefully I should, like, soon I'll be able to probably improve this, like, the quality of the recordings a little bit. Well, mainly with Smash Bros. So as you see, I kept doing the uh, down button just to get used to it. Now we both got final smashes, who gets it? Isabel gets it. And I'm pretty sure I die here. Yeah. Alright, so Isabel's in seven stops, I'm in seven stops. So it's seven all. Oh no, seven six now. Also, side B is decent. It's not like I would say the side B is pretty balanced. It's a little bit slow, but it does a decent amount of damage and not bad. And I'm gonna use my final smash here again. Yeah, our pairs will. Our pairs pretty decent actually. I mean, up B is a, a like I can just see so many people using up B to but to kind of spike people. So instead of spiking people normally, you could use up B because it's instant download anyway. Once again, uh, I finish it is about off with the bow. Um, if you haven't noticed, the stage actually does move around, it's just because I know stage hazards on that it didn't move around. So I haven't played on, I've only played on this stage once, and it was when it was like this. I haven't actually played on it when um, it's moving about enough, which I will sometime in the future. Probably later on today. Literally as soon as this video is uploaded, I'm going to go do that. I forgot to mention that I was actually playing this with uh, Joy-Cons um, If you don't know, the Nintendo Switch Joy-Cons have quite a lot of drifting on them Especially with, you know, 
the left one. The left one has a lot of this one in it. And basically how the drifting works for me is that every time I input down it goes to like neutral and every time I input neutral it goes to up. Sometimes I'll input down it'll go to up instead for some reason. It's re it is really bad drifting. To be honest, I wish I was using my pro controller in this game. Because on the pro controller there's like a lot less drifting than on my joypad. So the Joy-Con drifting issue is actually pretty common anyway. Especially with older models on the Switch. So now I'm pretty sure this is where Edgar uses her final smash again for the second no, no, first time. She's only just cared me again, so To be honest, there was one thing um, I was quite surprised about with the uh, Byleth coming in today. I honestly thought Byleth wasn't coming to like February or something because I was thinking about the other time where Sakurai has announced the character. It's either they come out on that same day or they come out in like a month or, in a month or two time. And that's also one of the that's also one of the ending screens or victory animations that Byleth has, because each character has three, I believe. Yeah, guys, so I think Byleth is pretty good as a character. Not as broken as Hero, in my opinion, but still good, I would say. The bow might need some nerfing in the future, because I feel like... It is sort of broken, especially if there's a character with a very vertical recovery. Let's say I call Chrom, and it goes up B to get back onto stage or something. And if they go slightly above the ledge, you could just hit them with a bow, and they're not going to make it back. Well, maybe I because of his side B, but Chrom definitely isn't making it back. Uh, down B. Down B is a little bit too good, but it does have a decent charge up, so there is a way uh, to go against it. But it's even move out the way or counter it. Final Smash is good. Up B is quite good, actually. I feel like you could get some cheap kills out of that. As soon as you knock someone off stage, quickly up B into them, so it knocks them down. And let's say they don't have a very good recovery, that like Little Mac for example, it wouldn't go so well for them. Anyways guys, subscribe and like if you enjoyed today's video, comment down below what you think needs to be buffed about Byleth and what needs to be nerfed, or how you feel about Byleth in general. Um, me personally, Byleth is a pretty good character, I wouldn't say like exactly broke to the point where it's as broke as what Hero was when he originally came out, but is very good. I would say like maybe high tier. I mean, if I was to make a tier list personally, I would definitely put Byleth somewhere high up. Byleth has a lot of potential, and the bow, the bow is insane. I found quite a couple of ways uh, to u to use the bow. And basically just keep them away from me with the bow. And it's not like Link's bow where it doesn't have any knockback. It's got a crap ton of knockback as well. And it does quite a lot of damage. So yeah, the bow is pretty good. So if I was to nerf by left, the bow would be the only thing I would actually nerf. Maybe the down B, not really because it's balanced out with a massive charge up. Anyways guys, subscribe and like if you enjoyed today's video. Like the video if you want to show some support, and obviously comment down below whatever you f how how you feel about Byleth. And also, if you happen to subscribe, turn on your notifications so you get to see whenever I upload. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.